President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni of Uganda has refused to sign into law a controversial new bill against homosexuality, requesting that it should be amended. President Museveni's decision was announced late on Thursday evening, the 20th day of April 2023, after a meeting of legislators from his ruling party, the National Resistance Movement, NRM, and independent members of parliament, almost all of whom support the bill approved by lawmakers in March 2023. The meeting resolved to return the bill to the National Assembly with proposals for its amendment according to a statement released immediately after the meeting. A spokesman for the presidency has said that Mr. Museveni was not opposed to the punishments proposed in the bill, but wanted legislators to look into the issue of rehabilitation of persons who have in the past been engaged in homosexuality but would like to live normal lives again. It was agreed that the bill goes back to parliament for the issues of rehabilitation to be looked at before he can sign it into law. Homosexuality is already illegal in Uganda under a colonial era law that criminalizes sex, rather sexual acts against the order of nature. The punishment for such an offense is life imprisonment. In a press briefing, convened at Uganda's parliament after the meeting, the government chief whip, Mr. Hamson Obua, confirmed the reports. And in a briefing shared by State House, President Yuri Kaguta Museveni is said to have loaded legislators for having rejected international pressure and for shielding Uganda's moral fabric during the passing of the bill. It's good that you rejected the pressure from imperialists. These imperialists have been messing up the world for 600 years, causing so much damage. President Museveni is quoted in the release. President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni is under pressure from the international community to veto the bill which needs his signature to become law. For example, the United States has warned of economic consequences if the legislation is enacted. A group of United Nations experts has described the bill, if enacted, as an egregious violation of human rights. Amnesty International, earlier on, on Thursday, 20th April 2023, asked President Yoweri Kaguta Museveni to veto what it described as a draconian and overly broad bill. According to Agnes Kalamad, the group's leader, nobody should be ever criminalized for their sexual orientation or gender, ide or gender ide identity. It should, however, be noted that the anti-homosexuality bill is hugely supported in Uganda including, among others, church leaders who have called for a harsh new law to fight homosexuality. The bill was introduced by an opposition lawmaker, Mr. Asuman Basalira, as a private member's bill. He said that his goal was to punish the promotion, recruitment, and funding of LGBTQ activities in the country. Only two out of 389 legislators present for the voting session opposed the bill. Now the world awaits the amendments that are said to be made following the resolution that was made after the meeting. Now, before I take you through the bill, let's look at the resolution. This is the resolution of the National Resistance Movement Parliamentary Caucus Meeting held at Kololo Ceremonial Grounds 
on 20th April 2023, and it reads as, Whereas we, the Parliamentary Caucus of the National Resistance Movement and Independent Members of Parliament, have today, 20th April 2023, met at Kololo Ceremonial Grounds in the presence of His Excellency, the President and the National Chairperson of the NRM. Whereas, the Parliament of Uganda, on 21st March 2023, did pass a private member's bill titled Anti-Homosexuality Bill 2023. Whereas, under the provisions of the Constitution of Uganda, bills passed by Parliament are assented to or otherwise by the President of the Republic of Uganda, before they become law, and whereas the aforementioned meeting of the NRM Parliamentary Caucus and independent members of parliament working with NRM has received a key note address on the anti-homosexuality bill 2023 delivered by His Excellency, the President of Uganda, having Exhaustively, ex exhaustively examined all related issues and reviewed previous discussions on the subject, hereby resolve as follows. To advise His Excellency, the President, to send back the bill to Parliament with proposals for its improvement. Now, here is what you need, here is what you need to know about Uganda's anti-homosexuality bill 2023. On March 21st, 2023, the Parliament of Uganda passed the anti-homosexuality bill 2023, proposing 20 years of imprisonment for people found guilty of engaging in acts of homosexuality. The bill proposed the death penalty for aggravated homosexuality. In this case, aggravated homosexuality is committed when it happens against persons below the age of 18 years. If the offender is a person living with HIV, a parent, guardian, or a person with authority over the victim. If the victim is a person with a disability or when the culprit is a serial offender or uses drugs against his victims. The bill proposes 20 years in jail for recruitment of children into homosexuality. It proposes 14 years in jail for attempted homosexuality. The same bill provides a penalty of 10 years imprisonment for knowingly operating brothels, rooms or houses for promoting homosexuality. If a child engages in homosexuality, the bill proposes a punishment of three years in jail. This is so because under Uganda's Children's Act, children are not supposed to be sentenced beyond three years and they serve their sentences in gazetted children's homes. And people who purport to contract same-sex marriages are liable on conviction. To 10 years imprisonment according to the bill. Now, uh, this is the anti homosexuality bill recently passed by the Parliament of Uganda, now awaiting some few amendments before it can be assented to by the President of Uganda, His Excellency Yoweri Kaguta Museveni. Please keep tuned for much more about this and, of course, for more videos. Kindly remember to subscribe to Stream Media UG because here we love to stream and to flow with you. My name is Rachel. Please remember to subscribe, like, comment, and share this video. And if you are kind enough, please leave a comment down under to let me know what you think about today's video. Bye for now.